You go live sometimes? <laughs> uh, I wish. I have young kids, I never go live. Um, so, yeah. Over, basically, don't ever overlook what you have. And this is a cycle that keeps repeating. It seems like if the things that start going wrong in your life, you, you tend to see patterns. And the one common denominator is you. The one common denominator, if, if everyone's fighting with you, everyone's, you know, lashing out, if you get in arguments with everybody, if people are pissing you off, there's one common denominator, and it's you. And you can't control what other people do or say, but you can control how you react to it. You can control whether or not you let it go. You can, can just walk away. You could do, you could, you literally have control over what, how you feel and what you can do, or... You feel a certain way, but then you learn to get over it because you have to trust that everything is going to be okay. You have to trust. You have faith that life works out. Well, I, you probably, I probably know who you are. You're, uh, your favorite bacon. Well, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> I don't, we, do we know each other? I'm on, I'm on the music scene occasionally. I'm a bored house mom now. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. One more for y'all. Now I keep seeing eight, seven, eight, nine. This is all like a... They're all like stepping stones of action. Like, get out of your comfort zone. Everybody. Get out of your comfort zone and take the right... Especially emotionally. If you've been blocked up emotionally. Um, scared to just go for it. Push yourself out of your comfort zone and do something good for yourself. Not self-indulgent, but good for your future. Step out of your comfort zone. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, I guess we do know each other, huh? Well, what's your name? It's not Bacon, is it? Is it Kevin Bacon? Well, that would be sweet, right? The Kevin Bacon? Shane, uh, Mueller. I know Shane Mueller. I know Shane, uh, jeez. Peeper. I know Shane Peeper. Well, there's a thousand. My brother's name is Shane. Oh, hi, Shane Mueller. What's going on, bruh? Oh, see, I know who you are. So I could probably pull a card just for you. For the general reading for everyone, it seems like everyone's taking on... Blank card, I need to put that up. Um, it seems like everyone is kind of stuck in the same uh, uh, rut. It refuses to get out of their comfort zone. Kind of stuck in your way. I'm getting the same way. Become stuck in your, your uh, ways, you know. Set in your ways, rather. And if you want anything to change in your life, you have to learn to appreciate what you have. See the blessings you already have. Don't take them for granted. Make calculated, take calculated risks in the right direction. Followed the host. Oh, I'm, am I the host? Thank you. Yes, please follow me. Yes, please. I'll have more goofy stuff coming up. Well, Shane, it looks like you have your shit together. It's so weird. The same cards. I just shuffle these a zillion times. Okay. So, Seven of Cups and the Emperor. That means that you're you're already doing what you got it. You're already doing. You're you're on the right path. If you're concerned about it, you're doing everything you can do. You have all your ducks in a row. You, um... I don't see anything. So, you're on a good path. There's nothing bad about that at all. Let's see, um... And the, uh... Yeah, the Emperor is... is they are higher up than a king. And a king is where we all strive... King or queen is where we all strive to be in our lives. 
it's it's like the the pinnacle of maturity and um and uh security it's like adult real adult and the emperor is the master of their universe master of their own universe so that that is the querent that is you shane mueller and then the seven of cups and cups are and seven is the number for god so god's leading you down the right path and cups are emotional fulfillment and material wealth um and intuition so just keep doing what you're doing yeah do your thing well just do it with a good heart and you will always always go in the right direction you'll always be in the right direction if you're doing it with a pure heart for good reasons and because i like reading tarot cards i will do one more we're gonna set those up since we don't we don't want them popping back up they keep popping back up Hmm, what else? Should I do a love forecast? Is anybody concerned with a love forecast? Because as I mentioned, I have hundreds of people come to me lonely and seeking love and seeking fulfillment and contentment outside of themselves, and they're miserable. But that does, it doesn't work like that. All of that stuff comes from the inside out. It has to start here. Everything you're looking for, it's right here and until you love yourself until you appreciate yourself and until you are content on your own by yourself you cannot when you find that contentment inside yourself and that love inside yourself we're never truly alone then you can love others for who they are and not how they serve you so quit looking for love outside. You have to find it here first, and then you attract it to you. Same same thing with gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. And you find more to be grateful for. You're like a magnet. Whatever, whatever you're sending out there, it's going to come back to you. It's, um, that was just the law of nature. And we're no more... We're not separate our environment. We are part of our environment. We, we're affected by the moon, the tide. We have to learn in how to be in tune with those things and realize that we're not alone. We are not uh, special. We're not, this, we're not, we're a piece of sand on the beach, but we are all connected to this divine source. And once we feel that love, once we feel that connectedness and wholeness, and I find by you no know, by being more mindful and connecting with nature i can feel that connectedness and i can feel um the uh, presence of spirit around me you no know, i'm a psychic medium so i can i can do a little more than that and i see a little more than, than some other people do but i know for a fact we're never alone and everything you're seeking is something missing here and it's not gonna nobody else is gonna help you find that Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you're doing everything right. You're doing every the card said you are the emperor. You're the emperor. That's what everyone. That's like, what, and we all try to be the emperor, the empress of our own, of our own universe, our own domain. And then, the rest of it is attracted to us. We don't have to go looking for it because it's already there. And then other like-minded people come along if you so desire and if that is what is in the cards for you I am uh, I am I'm a little embarrassed I'm okay with being single I really like it see at this point I'm too comfortable being single um, it would really take an act of God to get him <laughs> to for a partner to come in here right now I'm um, I'm actually very 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 happy on my own and that's that's okay so whoever comes along and if it feels right if it works out then they're only going to add to that happiness and contentment okay there we go we'll do a love forecast why not 